hi it's me again it's Jen welcome to Beast House of Plants where we talk about all things house plant and home design welcome back I am in fact still wearing the same outfit because I'm recording a bunch of episodes for this series the house plant alphabet today um, this is usually a series where I introduce you to some of my house plants we talk about my experience growing them and what conditions they are currently being received inside my home usually this is the part where I would give you a disclaimer about how I'm not a plant expert no need for the disclaimer in this episode because um well if you read the title this is not a usual episode of the house plant alphabet because i'm going to just show you my plant fail today and um do i need to keep going no okay let me just show you so um i is for ivy or hetera helix this is the variegated english ivy and this is what mine looks like yay <laughs> so um to be fair to me i planned to do this series in like june and so november early november so it's been it's been quite a while um yeah so this is a plant that i grossly underestimated how difficult it would be to grow because when i think of ivy i think of buildings that are just covered in ivy which i've also found out recently is like not good like you should not do that for your house or your buildings or whatever um, because a it really destroys the integrity of the building and b it really invites um, a lot of pests into your building including termites so that's not good anyways I thought that this would be an easy to care for plant because it's readily accessible at a bunch of big box stores and whenever I think of ivy I always think of like huge buildings just covered in ivy in nature so like I don't know I just I just really thought this was going to be a much easier plant to take care of and it's not it's not an easy plant so the primary thing of what happened here and why my looks like this is that I underwatered it. I know, funny, I'm an overwaterer, but um, a couple weeks ago, how a lot of things going on. Um, a lot of my plants took a little, a, a, a tiny dive because they were neglected for like a week or so, but this one just decided to die. <laughs> There is no rescuing this. Um, so usually when I underwater a little bit, I don't chronically underwater. I'm usually a chronic overwaterer. So when I do underwater, it's usually just like once or twice. And usually most plants will bounce back. After that, this did not bounce back at all. Um, I've already trimmed like half the plant. I would have already trashed it but I knew I was going to record this video so I saved it. Um, there's like one healthy section left which is this section. Everything else is ready to be tossed really. I'm gonna be honest that like I didn't really have an emotional connection to this plant even before I like killed it um so I, I don't know I probably won't try that hard to resuscitate this plant and I will probably never pick up another one um this was more of like something that my mom suggested we got and um that looks like this so um in terms of lighting this was in my east facing window which I think is fine and my east facing window is quite bright um and it was in a hanging pot um which I also think is fine um this plant does is known for attaching itself really well to things walls poles whatever um but I don't think that the leaves necessarily get bigger like aeroids um i think that they just like to attach themselves to things to be more secure um so definitely don't think it needs like humidity or anything like that um it just obviously cannot withstand being underwatered at all and this is already in like a super super 
water retentive mix, this might be 100% peat moss or 95% peat moss with a sprinkling of perlite. Um, I, I didn't repot this plant after um, I bought it, so it's just whatever the nursery had it in, which definitely looks like primarily peat moss. So yeah. I don't really think there's anything else for me to say about this plant. I'm really only showing you because this was a themed series and I wrote down that I was going to do this video like months ago. And um, also I think that we should we should show our plant fails more often because my plants definitely do not all look like the plants they post on Instagram. So yeah, had our helix. We'll never grow this plant again inside my home. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll come back tomorrow with a happier looking plant. Alright, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.